Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I, and I haven't seen you guys. I did a video since the 4th, the 4th of July. And I hope everyone had a wonderful 4th, had fun, good food, and just really enjoyed, really enjoyed the uh, holiday. And was very thankful to the God that we all here. And I really, I really am thankful guys that he allowed us to be together one more time okay guys I'm gonna get on with the video what I will be sharing with you guys today is a subscriber a subscriber request and it is fried eggplants how many of you guys like eggplants since I gotta have mm -hmm. this is a fried fried a uh, fried eggplant grown organically in my neighbor's yard she shared them with me this is the second time she shared some with me so uh i had a request to do it fried and guys it's something i want to share with you guys i don't know how many of you guys like eggplants or eat eggplants long time ago when i was raised up they used to call it, if they didn't call it an eggplant they would call it a vegetable plant so if you ever hear someone say a vegetable plant they talk about the same. They talk about an eggplant. They call them both the same thing. I never, I hadn't heard anyone call it that in a long time. But look at the bottom of this, guys. Can you see the bottom of it, too? Mm -hmm. Can you see that roundness right there? Now I was told this, and um, it has, and I have tried it, and it's also, uh, sure. I mean, it's correct. When you see the bottom of an eggplant. Looking round like that, they say that is a male eggplant, and I don't have all of these. These are round. My neighbor, my neighbor grows these, and I am so glad. Now, if they say if this part right here that you see is long like a slit, that is a, a female eggplant, and the reason I was telling you that, guys, is because the male eggplant don't have as many seeds in it as the female eggplant and that makes a difference to me in the uh, taste and whether it be bitter or not. Now usually the male eggplants which I, which I have um, fried some of these and I made an eggplant parmesan out of it and they was not they delicious but I did uh, go through the process of putting this uh, kosher salt on them and letting it uh, kind of, I think it more like the uh, kind of draining some of the moisture and the bitterness out of it. Because uh, my mama used to just put it in some salty kosher salt and water and just let it soak a while. I really don't know how long, but she, she would let it soak. And she was doing that for the bitterness of it. So I, when I first got these and I didn't know anything about them, and you know whether it was um you know whether it was gonna be bitter or not, but and I did it with the um I, I did it with the salt. Now I, I'm gonna go ahead on and show you guys this in, uh, process where it, once I get these uh sliced up, I'm gonna show you how I uh uh did it with the salt to uh draw some of the moisture the moisture and the bitterness out of it. And yeah, if you know something different with that, the ones of you that love eggplants like I do, just drop me a comment and let me know some other little tips and stuff about it. But guys, yeah, they are very easy to do. You can fry them, bake them, or whatever, but I'm fixing to fry this because that was a request. And what I'm uh, what I'm what I have here is three eggs, which I'm gonna beat well. Because when I leave off, I'm gonna get everything ready and uh then I'm going to come back and be ready to fry. And you know when I fly with something, guys, I um, use I always use self-rising flour, but you can use all-purpose, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then I have some plain bread, bread crumbs. And the reason I'm using the plain bread crumbs is because I don't have my Italian seasoned, seasoned bread crumbs. And this is the kosher salt I'm going to be using. Now, guys, for the seasoning, which I normally just put salt and pepper on mine, I'm going to put it in the uh, breadcrumbs. I will, uh, I'm going to do that. But you can use whatever seasoning stuff you like on it. And I'll probably put a little seasoned salt in it. You know, just, uh, um, you know, just kick it up a notch. But uh, 
they're so good to me I don't you know I just usually put salt and pepper on it so guys what I'm going to do is I'm gonna leave off and I'm gonna slice my eggplants up and then I'm gonna sprinkle the kosher salt on them and I'm gonna let them set just a little while but once I get them sliced and got the salt uh, sprinkle on both sides I'm gonna pop back on to show you how that process is and then after that I will come back with my flour and my uh, breadcrumbs and eggs all beaten and get ready to show you how to uh, dip them in the eggs and uh, and fry. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay, guys. I got my eggplant sliced and I got it sprinkled. If you can see on both sides, as I'm holding it. Right. I got to sprinkle both sides with the uh, with the kosher salt. You can already see where it's drawing some of the moisture, and I'm assuming the bitterness of any in it is drawing it out of it. And uh, you notice that I I sliced my eggplant with the skin on. I didn't peel. Some people believe that the peel that's on the eggplant is what make it bitter. But I grew up eating my mama fried it with the peel on. But if you don't, if you already fry them without the peel, with the uh, peeling the eggplant, you can do so. I've had it both ways, and uh, I uh, I like it better with the peel on. And uh, like I say, I put that salt on both sides. And when I come back, I'm gonna be rinse this salt off, and I'm gonna show you what I did. My next step. I already got my eggs beaten you guys. Now I only use three eggs and I may have to put another one in here but I don't think so. You use your egg for the amount of uh, uh, just the, to the amount of eggplants that you have. But I wanted you to see how I had them sliced in the round. That's where I use it to make the uh, eggplant parmesan. Okay guys I'll be back when we get ready for the next step. Okay guys I uh I'm back and I let the egg the eggplant set in in the uh, kosher salt for about an hour and then I rinsed them off and then took a paper towel and patted them dry. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the uh, how I'm gonna dredge it and get them ready for frying and then when I get them ready for frying I'm gonna go to the stove and show you guys how I'm frying how I fry them. Okay, the first thing I put them in is this flour. Dip it over in this flour. I'm gonna put the bubble up in here. And you also use the uh, flour, the amount of flour, according to how many eggplants you are frying. Okay, I dread it in this flour. Then I stick it over in the egg wash. From the egg wash to the to the uh, bread crumbs, guys. I already have those. I have the bread crumbs seasoned up, seasoned with some uh, salt and pepper, and I think I put a little uh, slap your mama and uh, oh, what else did I put in there? Oh, I put a little. Uh, I put black pepper and I put a little uh, paprika. That word I don't pronounce it great. Okay, guys, it's just as simple as that. All of them heat up. You know how they say with dry hand, wet hand? I don't pay that no attention. The way I do it, and if my hand get dirty, I just wash it off. I don't double dip like you can if you would like, you know, double dredge, but this is always fine. And guys, you can also just put it in the flour and fry, fry them. But I'm just showing you the way I do. My mama used to just, uh, she would just put the flour and stuff on me, and not the breadcrumbs. And I love them either way. So, um. Mm. Get 
for paper towels. Anyway, guys, so this is what they look like. And I'll show you more when I get in the skillet. I probably, when I take them up to the skillet, I think I have probably about a half a cup of oil. Use whatever oil you want. And, uh, can you see them? Mm-hmm. And that's the way you fry. Okay, guys, I'll be, over, I'll, uh, be back and meet you at the oven and wet stove. We on. Okay, guys, I got my oil heat up, and like I told you, I had maybe about a, uh, I think it's supposed to be half a cup, and I believe I don't let it, uh, a little more or whatever, and uh, I maybe don't let it get too hot, so let me just go ahead on and, uh, let them set a while. Just kind of shake it off and just put them in, because you don't need to fry these too high there. Guys, probably need to fry it on maybe a like a medium high. You don't want them to burn. Just brown and then make sure they don't cook. Don't over require to skim it. I believe I can get one more in here. I'll cross this right up here. Small. And guys, you need to let it fry on this side, maybe about three to four minutes so it brown and then turn it. You don't need to turn it to, I mean flip it to its time to turn. What's that smoking tub? You see that? That's flashing grease. Yeah, what's that? It's from that eye. Ooh. I think I must have went out to that thing in there. Splash some grease somewhere. Clean the oven. Let me step behind it. This stuff and this whatever the smoke is coming from now is coming from the egg. Oh, it comes from the egg plants. It is now. I don't see any from the eye. Unless, I unless, I unless, unless I'm overlooking it. I think when I drop one of the egg plants in there, I'm going to have a splash of grease. Maybe I'll have to do. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to let these uh, fry up. And when I get ready to turn them, I'm going to show you what the, the brownness of it before I get ready to turn. Then I'm going to turn them. And then when I go off, again, I'm just going to fry out the rest of them. And I'll uh, just come back after that and show you the finished product. This is... Come on, just look at that. Just turn right. <laughs> I use a spatula to turn mine. I'll show you when I come back when they're ready to turn. And you see why, how I'm kind of letting them fry? Not too high. But frying, um, I got it right now on the seats. Okay, guys, I'm going to let these brown because it's probably going to take about three or four minutes and there's not any sense in holding you on for that. I come back to uh, turn them, and then we'll go from there, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys, it's probably been about a couple of minutes, and I think they're ready to turn. Yeah. Don't take much to brown when you put the uh, Can you see over in the skillet cup? Yeah, I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Right Still in the skillet. Yeah. I'm saying they had said that. They were like this. 
feel in the pocket. I told him that this ain't no uh, food net network multi-million dollar production. Doing best can up in here. Come over here in the skin and show them the level of I can see it. I can see it good. I got to rate the crap out of it. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, I think it took just a couple of minutes on that other side, first thing. Because I probably, uh, I was wondering, do is it a six or a five? I know it's right on, but it was just, it's doing good on the six. But I'll turn it down the more that I fry. And, uh, because, you know, eggs, it's easy to brown. But I want to make sure. Yeah. It's done. That's the way I cook them kind of low and slow. Guys, I am. Um, when I'm uh, eating my uh, fried eggplants like this as a side, I um, sometimes I eat it with salsa and sometimes I eat it with the marinara sauce. Especially if I have some uh, marinara salt left over that I'll fix uh, the eggplant parmesan with. Then it just good with the season, with any sides. So, uh, yeah, up on top of the other one. It's fine, I never have like these both to see. Well, all right, guys. I'm going. I'm going to uh, let these brown, but you, they probably could try to get there. Okay. Let's see. I just stay on. I take these out to. Okay. The thing we need to talk to the guys about. Yeah, guys, we are. Uh, Rick came up for the four, and after the four. Uh, took had took vacation started that next week and so we took a couple of days and rode down to her house that's where you hadn't had any videos of us and I didn't take the camera because we were just going to just you know just do nothing and Brittany um she uh she was intend to uh she had wanted to do a video for her channel with us being down there. I mean, she might have got a clip or two, but for the four, when she came up, she, uh, she when she was helping me with the, uh, the uh, food we prepared for the four, uh, I filmed her. That's going to that's gonna be some of my camera work, guys. When you see her video, the one that subscribed to her channel, that's going to be uh, my hand to work behind the camera. <laughs> she always tell me, good job, Mom. I like, oh yeah, right when you see that something cut off. I'll be trying though, guys. I'm learning this morning technology. I am learning something I thought I would never. It wasn't that I couldn't learn it, but I just wasn't interested in it. You used to hear too much bad stuff about it. Okay, I didn't let you see that other side. I'm pretty sure it's brown. Can you see it, Tuck? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just as simple as that, guys. Yes, I see it. I'm going to turn it over so they can see it. The fam can see it, too. They can see it? Yep. Okay. Guys, I'll be saying, Nicky, would you turn that stuff with this came out of that hot grease? Don't y'all try that at home. Now these old hands are tough, but they can't get burned now. <laughs> that was a little spot on that. Maybe they can't cut as uniformly and even as I used to. So one side up and one side down, but hey, it's dead. Nothing to make a big deal out of. Not going to get no ruler and measure it. Been doing it for years like this, and uh, it used to be better because my eyesight was better. Okay, and just go right back in and drops 
glass that I already have over here and ready to go. Ooh, I love these things, guys. I absolutely love eggplants. I always have. Now, when you born in the 50s and stuff and raised up like that in the 60s, like I, like I was, people in this in that uh, generation and age range. Now, we love some veggies. We love vegetables. Uh, you know, nowadays people have problems with their kids eating vegetables and stuff like that. We didn't have that problem because we ate whatever we seen our parents eat. And um, I really. Uh, come to think of it, ain't too many things that, you know, I, I told y'all this once before, I think. It's not too many things that I, uh, foods that I totally dislike. Now, you see, whatever my mom would eat, I would eat it. But with my daddy, he used to like wild games like squirrels and doves and birds and stuff like that. I, I didn't like that. And, um, uh, but my mama, she always, always was fixing up some vegetable dishes. And none, none of my other siblings would eat a lot of the stuff that she would just be just fixing on the side for herself. But one day she did some harmony corn. And she asked me, you know, she wanted me to taste it and stuff. Now I taste that harmony corn. And uh, the best I can remember, I don't ever want to put it in another spoon. I was like, oh, my dear, I do not like this. And she was just a laughing or whatever. Yeah, but I, I just don't like, and I don't like harmony corn. That's one thing I don't do not like. Okay, guys, let me go off and finish this up. And when I come back, I'll show you guys a finished product. Be right back. Okay, guys, this is the finished product of the uh, fried eggplants. And uh, I can't wait to start on them. And uh, this will probably lasts me two, three days. I ain't going to say because once certain things like fried tomatoes and fried eggplants, I really, I really enjoy. Okay, let me let me get one and show you guys what it kind of look like on the inside to the ones that has never fried eggplants. Because this is for the ones that love eggplants. I don't know who may and may not, but uh, that I don't even worry about. See what they look like on we'll the inside? Down, oh, I'm sorry. What about? Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, that's what it looked like on the inside, guys. And I got some uh, marinara sauce over here that I'm probably going to be dipping this in. And the reason I got the marinara is because uh, I did the eggplant parmesan and there was some left from it. But normally, like I told you, I use salsa. So, guys, that's all I can tell you about the fried eggplant. If you haven't had them, I don't like them, you know, that's, you know, this, this is not for you, but to the, to the ones that love egg fried eggplants like I do, oh, you're going to be in for a treat, and uh, this, uh, that, that's, this will be a nice way to start the summer off, even though they have them year round, but when they come out of a garden, somebody, uh, garden at the house was raised organically oh my goodness so anyway guys um oh let me tell you I will I'll probably be putting up some pictures from our fourth I don't, I'm not sure exactly what Brittany have I told her to get pictures of the meal and that I wanted some of the pictures of the meal because I, like I told you she do the she's doing that she did the video so whatever she's got recorded it's gonna be over on her channel but I would take probably take a picture of the food when she put the video up and uh, let y'all know that she's putting the video up. And you can see that picture of the food. And uh, you can go over and uh, uh, check out the video, what footage she has on it. And uh, like Latanya Lewis, oh, she's my sweet lady. I love that young lady. She's always so nice and kind to us. Just leave us the most inspirational loving godly loving comments on uh, um, my channel but she was the winner of the uh, June birthday babies and I was so glad because we put the names everybody got a fair shot, shot at it that's how we get hope to some of these people that don't um, 
I ring this come to the channel and subscribe to do it I don't I don't even want to think about it because we're not gonna get in it but uh I sent off the uh, May uh May, birthday June, June? Mm -hmm. no May May never did send back she sent back the t she didn't send back a picture to I would either let me know that she got them I don't know whether they got lost now next time I probably take a picture of them and show them that what I'm sending out but anyway, congratulations, Latanya. You know I love you, sweetheart. So, um, guys, that's all I got to tell you today. Just uh, be on the lookout for whatever I may put on the community mm -hmm. post. Yeah. Look on the website. I believe Brittany may have put that picture up already on the Fourth of July meal. On well, the somebody what? may have. We don't have a website. Said so look on there on the uh, YouTube channel. Mm -mm. She may have. No, I don't think so. Uh, she she gonna put she tell me put her video up. No, the picture that you were talking about on the food. Oh anyway, no, okay. she. I don't think she gonna she gonna put a picture up. What she gonna do is just make a video of it. Okay. I'm gonna put the picture up. <coughs> so hold on just a second. <coughs> Got sprinkled. Some water. When the little crumbs went down my throat, I'm, I'm ready to eat these things now. So guys, let me go. And uh, you guys have a blessed weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. And remember what I say. I always say, use your common sense, think positive, and they may love you guys. Bye. Bye, you guys. See you in the next video. Guys, I'll be right back.